What's up guys? My name is Brandon. You guys can call me Swifters and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel today. I am coming at you guys with a super exciting video because in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Infinity Blade or the sword potentially being removed from Fortnite Battle Royale. Now we actually have some confirmed information coming from Epic Games themselves because they actually addressed the sword and the concerns that the Fortnite community has. Now as you guys know a couple of days ago the Infinity Blade was added into the game and I would say that the Infinity Blade is arguably one of the most hated items ever added into Fortnite. I honestly don't think that there is a single person in Fortnite who believes the Infinity Blade should remain in all of the regular modes. I think that the Infinity Blade has absolutely no purpose in being in solo, duos, and squads. It could be in all of the other modes, but just not in the core modes. I think it would really please the entire Fortnite community if Epic Games actually decided to remove the Infinity Blade, or if they just made the Infinity Blade available in a specific limited time mode. But of course, we actually do have some confirmed information coming directly from Epic Epic Games addressing some concerns regarding the Infinity Blade here in Fortnite. So about an hour ago, the community manager over at Epic Games posted something to the Fortnite Battle Royale subreddit and we're just going to go ahead and go through what they said and we're going to talk about it a little bit. So they said, let's talk about the Infinity Blade. Hey folks, we released the Mythic Infinity Blade item with the Volume 7.01 update and have since seen a healthy amount of discussion and feedback around it. I don't think the feedback is positive, but it's a healthy amount. It's a lot of feedback, probably not good feedback. In response to what we've seen, we're looking to provide more context on item philosophy and some upcoming changes to the blade. So, mythic items, the presence of mythic items in gameplay is to provide an interaction a step above the legendary item functionality and something you'll continue to see. To us, that means changing the way the game is played for those who interact with that item. The addition of items in this tier provide a new and flavorful ways to interact with the map and generally shake up normal play across default modes. We'll have some more info with regards to our competitive philosophy when it comes to new items, updates, and seasons within Fortnite early next week. So in regard to the Infinity Blade changes, the change we're currently planning for the Infinity Blade in our volume 7.10 update is to remove the ability to build and harvest when wielding the blade. When designing the Infinity Blade, the goal is to provide a weapon with an air at risk to balance out the great capability it provides. The ability to harvest or build removes a great deal of that risk. By taking away the ability to harvest or build, we hope to tune the Infinity Blade to where it feels risky to have but still satisfying to wield. After this removal, we'll continue to monitor the blade's effectiveness and make adjustments as necessary as well as communicate those changes. Thank you so much for your discussion and feedback around the blade. So there's a lot to take away from that reddit post and first things first according to mythic items It actually looks like epic games is planning on introducing more and new mythic items into Fortnite Which means it's very possible We're gonna be seeing additional weapons or additional items that have the same damage capacity or they're at the same tier or the same caliber as the infinity blade and I don't know about you guys, but I personally think that they have absolutely no business being in the regular or the default modes like solos, duos, or squads. On top of that, in regard to the Infinity Blade changes, it looks like now when this new patch update comes, you are no longer going to be able to actually build with the Infinity Blade. And I definitely think that that's a step in the right direction because being able to wield this sword that does 75 damage per strike where you guys get 400 health and you can build is pretty absurd, so I'm glad that Epic Games is sort of addressing that and you guys are no longer going to have to be able to and you guys are no longer going to be allowed to actually build while you guys have this sword. Even though this doesn't remove the Infinity Blade, which I was hoping for, and I think the overwhelming majority of players in the Fortnite community really wish that the Infinity Blade was removed from the default modes. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but of course, this is a small step in the right direction. But I've really, really just got my fingers crossed that Epic Games wholeheartedly decides to remove and vault the Infinity Blade from all of the regular modes. Alright, so I think right now what we're going to go ahead and do is go to Fortnite's official Twitter because they actually tweeted the link out to the Infinity Blade changes. And we're just going to go ahead and look at what some people actually said to this tweet. So this person said, you don't even deserve a star because you didn't try hard enough. Here's a square. Oof. They're, they're just roasting Epic Games. They're ro roasting Fortnite. 
My buddy Patrick says, why not make it in a limited time mode? It's a fun addition, but it doesn't feel like normal Fortnite. Thanos was fun because it was an LTM, but it would have been frustrating in normal play. Right now, players have no choice but to be forced to play against it, which is true. A small step in the right direction, but still not enough. Nobody enjoys fighting the sword, at least when you thought Thanos. You were like, oh, this is badass because it was in an LTM. Right now, it's like, oh no, here comes the sword, idiot. And you are just stressed the whole time, which I wholeheartedly agree. On top of that, we've got people saying, your game grew because of the way it once was. Why would you not listen to what everyone is saying and just remove the thing we asked to be removed? What is the point of these mythic items? I just don't get it. Please, I want to play Fortnite. This is not Fortnite. Again, people are just asking it to have it removed, remove the sword, delete the sword. Again, guys, people just really, really, really do not like this sword. And I've got my fingers crossed that Epic Games will hopefully listen to the community and remove the Infinity Blade uh, from all of the regular modes in Fortnite. But let me know your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback regarding the Infinity Blade still remaining in Fortnite Battle Royale. Are you guys fans of it? Are you guys indifferent about it? Do you guys think it should no longer be in the regular modes? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Regardless, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. With that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.